Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood puppy chaser. I saw this video pop up on my YouTube feed and I absolutely knew I needed to do a video on it. Um, we are talking about It's Me or the Dog, Victoria Stilwell. I like to watch her stuff only because it's super entertaining to see all these people that really shouldn't own dogs, but this one is a very important episode, so yeah, let's get into it. I am going to be pausing it a lot, and I'm not going to show you the whole thing, so I do encourage you to actually go on their page and finish watching it if you so choose. Um, but otherwise, let's get started here. On this episode of It's Me or the Dog. You have a loaded weapon on the other end of your leash. If he kills somebody, you're done for murder. And you're in jail, and that's it. Casper is just like a registered weapon. He has the capability to kill. He's just very misbehaved. He's just the devil. It's scary if he gets loose. He could definitely kill me if he wants. I'll sit down then. Eric has told me to sit down on the table and I want to follow his instructions because there are numerous instances of praises attacking people. As if there's one wrong move, he could go for me. She is right. These are really scary dogs. Um, I know I've talked to you guys about pit bulls and how I feel about pit bulls. Uh, the other breeds that are considered the fighting dogs, Preza Canario, Cane Corso, and Dogo Argentino. I know there's another one, I just can't think of it right off the bat. Let's go. Casper. Diana can't stand it. Casper, get over here. Whatever you do, never act scared. Sit down, drop. Oh, dear God. My thoughts exactly. Good lord. When Casper has exhausted himself. Like, what is it with these people and having aggressive dogs and wondering why they're aggressive, but, oh, he's two years old and he's still got nuts. Duh. And calm down. Victoria can take a closer look. You bring that dog. Hey, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Casper's showing me a lot of signs that he's unstable. Lunging at the person, what happens if he makes contact? So what he did just to, to the, camera the camera person, he wasn't staring. No, he he was, just, I seen him, he was looking right at the camera. He was, it's not okay. comfortable. He's, like, you could definitely pet him right now and he'd be fine. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm going to wait until I do that. Okay. Praises are not to be fooled with. They're dangerous and they're dangerous in the wrong hands. What really worries me is that I don't think Eric is really aware of the potential liability. How old are you? I'm uh, 20 years old. Well, how old was Casper when you got him? About eight weeks. He's a little over two years old now. I'll tell you right now, I think it's highly irresponsible for a breeder to sell an 18-year-old guy, Prey Canario. You've got a fighting breed here. You've got a dog that was bred for fighting. Yeah. So, natural. you know, right. you've got one of the most difficult breeds to handle. I really appreciate that someone who has the kind of reach that she has, she is known globally for her dog training videos. And I really appreciate that she is speaking the truth about these dogs. They are aggressive and they are dangerous. They are bred to fight. Thank you for being honest about this. Before Victoria continues, she wants to have a serious talk with Eric. Sit down, Eric. All right. So many young guys like Eric have dogs that look cool. I have to give him a reality check, just what he has at the other end of his leash. You are way, way out of your depth here. People aren't safe around you. I don't have to be with this dog for five minutes to know that he is reactive and that could be dangerous. One day, he's gonna say, that's it. I'm done. I don't think he would ever snap on me, to be honest with you. My bond with him is that strong. You shock him enough times, believe you me, you're going the right way to make it happen. 20 years old, of course his dog's never going to do anything to him. I know better, because I've seen it happen. She is absolutely right. Just because they're family members does not mean they won't strike you. I've said it before, I'll say it again. What were those statistics? Were you guys paying attention? Do you remember? They're pretty darn high. Okay, Eric, come over here. 
Victoria sees Casper showing signs of aggression, so she takes Eric to a local canine training facility that deals with dogs that have aggressive tendencies. I want to introduce you to Mike here and Earl. They do specialized dog training for very hard breeds of dogs that are very aggressive or are showing tendencies to be reactive. And the reason why I wanted to bring you here is first of all, so you could meet them and see what they do because they're 20 minutes away from you. These guys are a resource. Training Casper could be a six to eight month process to get him to a place where he's comfortable and you're comfortable with him and he's more confident. So I'm gonna stop right there. I disagree with her. I don't believe you can just train the aggression out of it. Even if you get him neutered, I, I don't think that's going to solve your problem. I don't think you can train this out. That dog's never gonna be trustworthy. So Mike, could you tell me a little bit about what we're gonna see here? You're gonna see what a bully breed is capable of doing. He's gonna run, he's gonna bite Earl on the arm. It's gonna look very scary. I well, want to show scary. Eric the power when a bully breed does launch themselves at somebody. I have to give him a reality check just what he has at the other end of his leash. You're so friendly, why don't you give me your money? As I'm watching this football launch himself at Earl, I'm thinking, you don't want a preser jumping up on you like that. Tyson, come! That is impressive. Good boy. Gary gave the command. He just came right back to him and he was in complete control. Do not be fooled by that. Do not be fooled by that, okay? Just because you can call your dog off right then from attacking somebody does not mean that you can ever trust that dog again. Even the most highly trained dogs that we have, police canines, have a mind of their own. I'm sure you can find countless videos on the internet of police officers trying to call back their dogs and not succeeding because the dog enjoys the bite. That is something that is pleasurable to them. That's what they live for, that bite. So once you have a dog that you have trained to attack somebody and be okay with attacking somebody, just because you can call it back at that moment doesn't mean you'll always be able to call him off. That's a dangerous dog. Especially where I live, any dog that has been trained to attack somebody is automatically a dangerous dog. I would never trust that dog ever again. Pink juice. He needs pink juice or a bullet. Either way, I don't care. That dog, mm-mm. Don't trust him. You know, I would love for Casper to be able to be like that. Any dog that we do this kind of work with first has to complete a whole set of classes where they basically pass the equivalent of a canine good citizen test, where they could be pet by people, be around other dogs, and, and interact like a, a safe member of the society. The key thing with his dog is that his dog is confident and very social around people. He doesn't have this reactivity as Casper does. Casper's unstable. You have a loaded weapon on the other end of your leash. If he kills somebody, you're done for murder and your dog gets put down. I just don't want that to happen. It could be really tough to change this 20-year-old's mind, but there might be a little chink in the armor. Maybe a little light is getting through. I just want you to know, and I'm sure you do know this about me already, that I'm 100% devoted to my dog and training I know my you're dog. 100% and I love devoted. my dog and you I, I will you prove are. to you I guarantee because you're training okay, you me you, you're me. teaching me the best techniques I will guarantee that my dog is going to be such a great trained dog I'm right. he, I'm going to be the ambassador for Presa Canarios Yeah you better be I just want you to keep proving because sorry the car the image the big dog I see more in you than that Everybody around here judges me Everywhere I go, people yes. are staring at me, thinking I'm doing something wrong in this place. And that's why I was so happy to come out here and just prove to them already that my dog's better than their dog. That oh my god, please. This is something that I feel people really need to learn and understand. The way you present yourself is key to how somebody perceives you. If you're going to dress with a backwards cap, 
earrings, tattoos, gold chain, wife beater, pants hanging down, you got the car, you've got the dog, the fighting breed, male intact dog, and then you're gonna get mad because somebody looks at you and thinks, hmm, thug. You present yourself like that. You talk that way. You walk that way. That is what you are embodying when you go out there and somebody sees you and you're gonna get all offended because, oh my god, they're they're thinking that I'm a bad person, that I'm gonna steal, that I'm gonna- because that's what you look like! You chose to dress that way today. You chose to do this to yourself. You look like that, so you have to face the consequences. It's like these girls that walk around with booty shorts and, and low crop tops and get mad when somebody's looking at their butt or looking at their boobs. Like, girl, your boobs are hanging out. What, what do you want? What do you expect somebody to think or do? I'm sorry, they're gonna be staring at your boobs because they're popping out of your shirt. They're gonna be looking at your butt because you have something written across the back. Why are you looking at my butt? Because there's a word there! If you don't want somebody looking at your butt, don't draw attention to it. I'm not gonna go to the beach and wear a bikini and get mad at somebody for looking me up and down and get mad at them for liking what they see. I put myself out there. So I can't be upset with somebody for judging me or coming to a conclusion about me based on how I dress. Okay? That's just the way the world works. I'm sorry, I know that's not animal related, but for real. Common sense, okay? You, you look and act like a thug, people are gonna think you're a thug. Quacks like a duck? It's a duck. Alright? Just saying. Grow up. My dog can be trained, and then I can train my dog. Okay, after this finishes, I'm gonna be on your case all the time. I love I'm it. gonna be checking on you all the I will time. I love it. I'm you so ready it. to prove it. Okay. I'm so ready. You better you have do no it. Idea. If Eric continues to be responsive and open to my ideas, I think we could achieve great things. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop this here because I think you guys have seen what you needed to see in this video. I'm, I've seen all that I needed to see. Look, I appreciate that she at least acknowledged that these dogs are very dangerous. However, I disagree that you can just be a good trainer, that you can be a good owner and nothing bad will happen. You know, if you train this dog right, nothing bad will happen. Not true. These dogs can snap on anybody for any reason, even the most well-behaved dogs. And like I said before with the police dogs, they go through training more extensive than any dog that I know. Military dogs, same thing. They go through incredible training. They're not pets. These dogs are not pets. They are working animals. And they can be very dangerous. So thinking that a dog is going to just turn around because you're going to train it and a year later it's going to be safe. No, that dog is never going to be safe again. That dog has shown that it's willing to lunge at people and bite. And once that happens, there's no going back. You guys know my opinions on this. I'm just kind of hammering in this point. Unbelievable. <laughs> just unbelievable. And this is a perfect example of a young person falling into that stereotype because they're trying to look a certain way and get that street cred. It's just, it's so obvious to me looking from the outside in I, I wish that more people were able to see this. All right, well, I'm gonna end that there. I do have a new set of 10 codes that I have to learn. <laughs> so it is no longer 1042 to sign off. It is actually 107. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a video later on the new 10 codes that I have to learn because one, it's gonna help me learn it. And two, it'll hopefully help me remember it. And three, it might be a little interesting for you guys, maybe. So for now, this is ACO Twiggy calling 107. Until next time.